A warm greetings to everyone. This is Suhasini S, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, RMD Engineering College. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about the topic called RAID. So RAID, what is the? Is we have an expansion of RAID also. So which is redundant C array of independent disk. Okay. So we why we go for this RAID concept is to find the multiple to utilize the uh, available disk multiple disk storage. storages for increasing the performance and when increasing the performance your data redundancy and data this uh, reliability will also be achieved so different raid levels used in the databases are raid 0 raid 1 raid 2 raid 3 raid 4 raid 5 and raid 6 we'll discuss one by one so what is raid 0 is raid level 0 is called as a data stripping that i have some amount of data and that will be shared to all the data all the disk which is available so this is data stripping whatever the data as i have all the data will be shared among all the disk which is available so this is your raid 0 which is called as data stripping then beta 1 mirroring so in that cases if one disk failure is fail, if one disk is failed that the entire data will get lost and we don't we cannot recover it so for that the mirroring raid 1 has introduced a mirroring concept what it is it the data whatever present in the disk 0 will be stored in the disk 1 the data whatever present in the disk 2 that will be stored in the another disk also so if any one of the disk is uh, disk is getting failed with the help of the other disk you can retrieve the data so this is raid 1 so raid 2 is Uh, in, uh, uh, in uh, while using that uh, mirroring concept, the entire day a uh, disk is getting wasted for storing the same data. So now I uh, so for that to overcome that, uh, I'm going for this RAID two. So RAID two is our error. Uh, we'll have a uh, parity bit. The parity bit is the error check bit. So this uh, parity bit will have some amount of data. Okay, that data will be based on that parity bit. I can retrieve the data. some amount of information will be stored in the parity bit in the bit uh, in the data world okay so here from that i can retrieve the data so i have disk 0 disk 1 disk 2 for disk 0 i have a disk 3 which stores the parity value of that data and disk 4 disk 1 data so i have a disk 4 which has the parity bit so for disk 2 we have a disk 5 so similarly based on the parity bit i can you uh, retrieve the data here moving on to the third thing i have a byte level data stripping instead of storing a single single disk for storing the data i am uh, i am creating an array wise uh, parity bit so only one disk to store the parity bit so instead of creating three parity disk for parities i have only one uh, disk for storing the parity bit a b c will be stored in one disk c d e f uh, like uh, d e f will be stored in one disk so similarly as a bulk uh, as a bulk of data the parity bit will be stored here so next is block level data stripping block level data stripping is so if zero is there then one parity bit if one is there then one parity bit likewise i have some set of block for this particular block this value if i get some amount of uh, thing then i can i'll do this uh, this parity bit will be uh, checked so that is block level uh, stripping here p not is calculated so x of z x or so 0 1 0 when i add this i am getting 1 if it is 1 then i have to do some p uh, i have to go for parity bit 0 if it is 0 then i have to go for the parity bit 1 so similarly we will be checking the condition based on the uh, your uh, some of the values if it is you will if you are going to add it and then what value 1 or 0 based on that you will go for the parity bits here then raid file raid file is distributed parity bit instead of giving one separate disk for storing the parity bit itself i am distributing the parity bit among the data disk itself so for the disk 0 uh, for the first array i have the disk i parity bit in the disk 4 for the second row i have the parity bit in the third disk for the th third row i have the parity bit in the second disk for the fourth row i have the parity bit in the uh, first disk for the fifth row i have the parity bit in the first uh, first disk so similarly i am sharing the parity bit among the data itself not separately in the uh, in not separately in one disk so last in the sixth uh, sixth one is same See, so what is the drawback in the fifth is only it can recover only one bit it cannot recover more than one 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 data so recover more than one data i am introducing another bit also array wise and row wise so each disk will have 
two uh, parity bits, one row wise and one column, uh, one array wise. So two parity bits so that you can retrieve two lost data also. So this is your RAID 6. These are the six different types of RAID levels. Thank you.